Hey everybody, today I'm going to be comparing Giant Eagle Distilled Water and Trader Joe's Natural Mountain Spring Water. Um, I don't have a lot to say about these, and it's a lot of water to drink. And I'm probably not going to finish it, but I'm just going to get started right away just because it's so much water. So that's Giant Eagle Distilled Water. A while back I did a review of Giant Eagle Spring Water. And um, that was pretty good. Distilled Water. If you Google Distilled Water, you get a lot of mixed results. Some people will say, oh, like it's the best water for you. It's super healthy. And then... The other half of the people will say, hey, don't drink distilled water at all. It's missing its um, minerals. It's going to make your body acidic. And so half, half the people say it's super good for you. Half the people say it's super bad for you to drink. Um, I, I kind of side with the people who say it's bad for you uh, because it's missing the minerals. Um, like calcium, magnesium, and, and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. And I've also got Trader Joe's Natural Spring Water. Here we go. Yeah, this this bottle has the uh, the minerals in it. Spring water. I'm not sure which where they get the spring from. On the label, it says something about um, the bottles being from California. So maybe the spring. Oh, it says okay, distilled. So it says bottled at the spring in. Um, New Hampshire, I think. So, this is just regular spring water from New Hampshire. Um, I like Trader Joe's. It's sort of... Um, <laughs> this video is going so badly. I'm just all over the place. I mean, Trader Joe's is sort of like a mix between Whole Foods and Aldi. Like it's, um, it's sort of like like a friendly environment and like has sort of healthier types of food and non-name brand food like like Whole Foods but it's owned by Aldi and um it's sort of got lower prices like Aldi but not not quite as low yeah Trader Joe's people who work there are super friendly so I like the store but I'm just reviewing the water this video is going really badly. I didn't really plan this out at all. I usually put a little bit of thought into these videos before I start. Um, so let's get back to the distilled water. We're maybe halfway done. Uh, but this is a lot of water. I, I don't think I'm going to finish it. Oh boy, that's a lot of water. Um, okay, I'm thinking I'm going to make the winner Trader Joe's. Um, just because... <laughs> ooh, it's a lot of water. Um, because I think the minerals are important for you, and I, I agree with the people who say... That um, 
distilled water is, is not that good for you. I feel kind of sick right now. It's, this is so much water. And I drank water before making this video too. So it's a lot of water. Um, oh boy. Shoot. I feel like I can finish it. I'm just going to throw up when I'm done though. Um, Ooh, I'm gonna. Oh, oh it's so much water. I don't feel good. Uh, okay, this is that was just a cardboard box. I threw up in there. Um, so it's it's it was a lot of water. So the water's leaking onto the floor. Um, ugh, that's gross. All right. So I just threw up a bunch of water, <laughs> but um, now, my, now I have room for more water though. So let's finish this up. So what else is there to say about um, Giant Eagle Stilled Water? It's a uh, one gallon, so that's 3.7 liters. It says the stilled water is, um, ooh, it says it's from Pennsylvania. No smell to it. Um, Wikipedia says that distilled water is good for car batteries and steam engines. <coughs> oh boy. Um, what else? Wikipedia says the history of drinking distilled water. Uh, um, the history of drinking water has been distilled from seawater since at least about A.D. 200, when the process was clearly described by Alexander of Fondolos. Um, its history predates this as a passage of... Um, Oh boy. I 
think I drank too much water. Um, I feel drunk right now. I don't, I don't know if it's from the water. I didn't, I, I haven't, I didn't drink beer today or any alcohol, but I feel drunk for some reason. Um, maybe it's from like water intoxication or something. Um, Captain Israel Williams of the uh, Friendship, 1797, improvised a way to distill water, which he described in his journal. This That doesn't make any sense. Why is Wikipedia... Ugh, this Wikipedia page about distilled water doesn't make any sense. It says... Um, Oh, you can use distilled water for uh, steam irons, for ironing clothes. I guess because it's, it's good that the minerals are not in distilled water, so they don't clog up the steam iron and get on your clothes. I mean, what's the what, what's distilled water is basically is just they they boil the water. Um goes in the air and then they collect all the water that went in the air and then what's left in the in the pot or whatever they used to boil it in is um the like uh the minerals like the calcium and magnesium and whatnot. Okay, Wikipedia says the health effects. Distillation removes minerals from water, and there's a membrane method and a reverse osmosis method, and a nanofiltration method, and all right. <clears throat> Wikipedia says the consumption of hard water water with minerals is associated with beneficial cardiovascular effects as noted in the American Journal of Epidemiology consumption of hard water is negatively correlated oh shoot it's negatively it's correlated with heart disease shoot All right. Well, so that's a, that's another negative for um, distilled water. Make sure this is still recording. Oh boy, this is thirteen minutes already. I've got throw up water all over my socks. Socks are wet. So Trader Joe's is the winner. see all those bottles those are, those are all bottles I still have to review oh. I, I thought I was almost done with round one of this series of videos but then uh, then I found a ton of new brands of bottled water so I'm not I, I still have like probably six videos to do for round one of this stupid video water series. Um, maybe I'll group them together. Maybe I'll just do like four bottles per video or something, or three bottles per video. I'll make it go by faster. I'm not really sure. Oh boy. I've had distilled water in the past. Because I didn't I didn't know what it was. I had bought it like three or four years ago. I didn't even know what it was. I just 
um, bought it and drank it. Uh, and I didn't feel very good then either. Um, I don't, think, I don't like. I don't like it. Makes my, my stomach hurts right now. It's too much water. Uh, you know, like those um, competitive eaters. There's like Matt Stoney and Joey Chestnut. They eat a lot, like a lot of hot dogs. I could never do that because I always just feel sick. Like uh, too much stuff. It's not good for you. Um, I'm tired. <clears throat> okay, let's finish this water. So there's two types of competitive eating. <coughs> uh, I don't feel good. Too much water. There's two types of c types of competitive eating. There's um speed, where they have like a, a ten minute limit, or no, not there's speed where they try to eat it as fast as possible, and then there's quantity. I guess with speed, they'll have like a 10 minute limit and they have to finish some big like pizza or hamburger or something, some huge, like over 5,000 calories, some huge amount of food in under 10 minutes for that's, that's for speed. And then there's also, um, just quantity where they'll do it for like an hour. And they have to do an even bigger, like, like a twelve thousand calorie um, meal. But they have an I have an hour, so that's for like that's not really for speed. That's for quantity, really. I think speed is something that anybody can learn with practice. I think with quantity, I think you have to have like a. Uh, special stomach, um, like I think Matt Stoney and Joey Chestnut have, like, extra big stomachs, um, ugh. oh boy, this is, I, before I did this video, I searched YouTube for, um, gallon water chug, oh, there's a guy, I need to poop, there's a guy who, <laughs> He chugs two gallons of water like it's nothing. He says he he says he did three gallons one time. <sighs> okay, I, I can finish this. I can know. I know I can. Um. I guess I'm doing more than a gallon though, because I also did this small amount. I mean, I probably, I probably did a gallon, right? So the guy, yeah, the guy did. Um, well, I can smell my throw up. That's not, that's not good. I need to get, throw away this box now. The guy says he did three gallons. Which, uh, I don't know how you do that. I can't do that. I can't even do one gallon. But he did, he did, um, have a cut in the video. So it makes me think maybe he, um, faked it. I don't know.
Alright, so... I mentioned this in the other Johnny Eagle video, but Johnny Eagle has a double your money back guarantee. It's a pretty awesome policy. Um, I need to throw away my socks. Look, there's like... Look at all this dirt on my socks. I just bought the throw up water going on the carpet and I... Um, um, get my socks all wet. Wish this video was over. I don't want to drink any more of this water. Uh, can you see this too? There's a bunch of dirt on the bottom of this bottle for some reason too. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's not on the inside, it's definitely on the outside of the bottle, so it's good. Um, all right, okay, this is all I have left. Okay. So, the video is almost over. So, congratulations, Trader Joe's. You're moving on to the next round. Sorry, Giant Eagle, you are not moving on to the next round with your distilled water. And, oh boy, 22 minutes. This is such a stupid video. Uh, maybe I'll edit some stuff out. Maybe maybe this won't be 22 minutes right now. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone.